Yo guys, what's up? It's Nick, and today I uh, just got a real short video for you guys. Um, as you can see, I have 2,000 coins, and there's a very good reason why uh, I sold off most of my playoff cards, but I did get my boy, Antonio Cromarty. There he is. Uh, he's not the greatest card, but I still love him. He's still one of my favorite players in the NFL, so had to get that card. His play rec is an 88, or at least an 88, or an 89 because of Wolf Org. There might be other cards on my team with a boost, but uh, kept my Rodney Harrison. Thought about selling him a lot, uh, but these three cards right here that I have, uh, Vic, Cromarty, and Harrison, are probably the three cards that I wanted most in this game at this time. I don't know if there's any other, I don't think there's any cards out there that I want more than those three. Uh, but I know um, you guys have been asking for gameplay, so uh, I don't want to play a card game. This kid's going to invite me to a party, so I'm not playing him. Uh, but I'm going to play a game real quick to to just see how good Cromarty is. You guys will get to see it with me already up if this kid wants to, but no, okay. I don't really want to play a 72 on camera for you guys. Let's see here. Who else can you give me? 96. Trading RG3. If he invites me to a party, I'm going to leave. Let's see here. Do I have my right playbook? Yes. Come on, kid. Don't invite me to a party. This is the worst part about playing online is kids want to trade instead of play. Okay, kid. I'm going to leave his game. Because I don't want to make you guys sit here and watch me search for games for the next hour. Come on, give me somebody who's not looking to trade. Come on, turtles, ready up. Hold on, I'm going to use the Ravens. Oh no, I got to. It doesn't make any sense. I got to use the Patriots. Oh my God, turtles, you're 95. You ready up? I'll change. I'll even. Ch okay. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. I'm gonna, okay, he's actually going to play. Let's go. I might get beat. I haven't played. Where's the Patriots jerseys? Gotta be in there. Okay. But I haven't played online in a while. I actually haven't even played, like, whatsoever. So I'm, I might get absolutely smacked by this kid. I don't know. I haven't played, like, any Madden. I've just been watching movies, Netflix. Uh, bought a couple movies. So that's just what I've been doing. Uh, I can watch a movie like 20 times and not get sick of it. I just find new stuff to like about it and just different stuff like that. Uh, so I've been just watching the same movies over and over again and whatnot. The same like eight movies or something like that. Uh, but I haven't been playing Xbox a whole lot. But now I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to use my dual uh, TV setup and watch movies and sell legendary contracts probably tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to have to do it sometime because... I have no coins anymore, and I'm not dipping into my coins on my other account. I want to save those in case, like, a three-star Ladanian Tomlinson or something like that comes out. So we got two-minute quarters going on here. We'll see if Cromarty can play shutdown corner. He's got, like, 98 man, which that's really good. Uh, I, I'm happy they gave him that. That's, like, almost draw Revis status right there. Without Revis, Cromarty was just a... Well, he wasn't the greatest, but he was pretty good this year, so... I'm happy about that. Happy they gave him a card. I wanted them to give, give him a fantasy card just sometime this year. He had that week one. He had a really good week, uh, but they didn't give him a fantasy card. Come on, kid, pick your pick your play. Three, probably that tight end slotted out. Depends on who his tight end is. It's sharp. Yep, I knew he would could be slotted out. Oh, but he's going to... Oh, right up the middle. Not nice play. Oh, Cromarty gets the first tackle of the game. Look at that. I can't... I'll blitz him, but I can't tell if he's one of those people that throw every down, every play, or if he actually is going to... Oh, I got Julio in man coverage. It's not good. Oh, forced him one way. Okay, incomplete. Forced him to the way that he only had one option, and... I don't know, he was Julio, I think that was Julio, he played played decent man-to-man -man coverage, so we'll see here. Third down, who is Cromarty on? Cromarty's on, it's Antonio Holmes, I wonder if that's the 99 overall, it's got to be the 99 overall. For him to use it as number one wideout, it's got to be, it's got to be the 99, not the 84 one that I have. I like the 84 one just for the fact that he gives plus one the speed oh, open. My other corners still suck, but I, at least I have Cromarty 
no way uh, Julio Jones and D'Angelo Hall are going to stick with Calvin Johnson, so this will be interesting. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure why he plays Calvin Johnson as his third. See, Antonio Holmes' card is not that great. I'd use Calvin Johnson over that. He's not getting anywhere. Charles Woodson and D'Amico Ryan's right there with Cromarty. I don't want to call. This is my the, these two plays here, and this row. These bottom five plays, uh, they're they're the ones I use the most, and then I use relatively the same blitzes. I only use like probably ten different plays on defense. Uh, I don't really. There's not much diversity to what I do on defense. Oh, he's free. And D'Angelo Hall took an awful angle at that. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, I like to put four corners out there, but I can't do it if he's going to run. It doesn't work all that well. So I have to I have to think about how much he's ran and whatnot, and how many wide if there's like three wide receivers out, I'll do it. I'll put um, four corners out there. Yeah, okay. Okay. He wants to roll out to the left every time. Like, every time he rolls out to the left. Even though Steve Young's a left-handed quarterback, I wouldn't roll out to the left every time. I don't roll out to the left every time with Michael Fick, so I don't know why he does it. Oh, as I say that, he rolls back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I, I wanted Cromarty to pick that, but I selected Charles Woodson. Instead of him intercepting it, he just knocks the ball down. Oh, well, if I can come up with a stop here, it won't matter. But I don't know. I don't know if he's one of those kids online that goes for it every time. Cromarty is on sharp. Oh, Dominique Rogers. Cromarty gets the pick. But there's a penalty flag. I don't know what it's for. Probably roughing the passer or some crap like that. Yup! Oh, my God. Reggie White, rubbing the pat. I don't even know if I was controlling Reggie White. Probably, I probably was. Probably my own fault right there. Wouldn't have mattered. It still would have gotten the interception. So I don't know. I'm back Cromarty off. Yeah, this is going nowhere. Almost, he almost caught that. Cromarty took a bad angle, and whoever, whoever jumped right in front, who missed that ball terribly. Cromarty slotting out on Moss. That means he has Moss playing his number one wideout. Which I don't think I would do. Sag up, sag up. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go, Reggie. Atone for that. Pa or for the roughing the passer. He's going to have to throw it. I'm going to go the man up three deep. He's going to have to throw it. And he's got to go 19 yards. So. I'm going to call timeout. I know I let a lot of time run off the clock, but. I, can't, I gotta get the ball back. I gotta get the ball with some time in this quarter, just to have a small chance to put it in the end zone. Okay, is he gonna pick a play, or are we just gonna sit here? Okay, if he wants to try to run this up, more power to him. But he's not gonna make that first down running the ball. I can guarantee him that. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Go. I, I want to see if he goes for it on fourth and twenty. Is he gonna go for? Is he gonna kick the field goal or is he gonna go for it? Oh, he's gonna go for it. How would I know? Most people are gay online and go for it. Nobody plays it like. Oh, like it's an actual game. Everybody's like, oh, this is a video game. Cause logically, let's go for it on fourth and twenty. Logically, that makes sense. Nobody's open. Get out of here. Starting on the 38-yard line with a minute, seven seconds to go. See here, I'm going to start out with the screen pass to Darren Sproles. But the next card on my list to get is probably that Adrian Peterson. I'll try to probably get him back. He's only like one. He's only like 180,000 now. That's not bad. Okay. Well, I he didn't get rid of it. I clicked the button, but I didn't get rid of it. So let's do. Let's get a little hurry up going on here. If he presses, I will just. Okay, well, let's see here. Hernan I don't know if Hernandez is going to be open. Yep, yep. Hernandez, wide open. 
Okay, first and ten. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up here. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually run the ball. There's 40 seconds left. I just want to get in the field goal range because I get the ball start the second half. 35 seconds. Hike the ball. Okay, nice, nice little run by Sproles. Let's hurry up. Hit him with the deep pass. Let's see here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Sproles get in the backfield. Jennings get out there. Get Macklin. Ma oh, Macklin makes the miss. Macklin. Touchdown, baby. There we go. 7 nothing. And I get the ball start the second half. I don't know if he's going to onside kick it or not. That's the only, only thing. Got to kick the extra point. And now I got to not let him score. I don't know. I'm, sometimes I accept this penalty and I go for it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to accept the penalty and then I'm going to go for it. Right up the middle. With a nice quarterback sneak. If you want to go off sides on me, I'm going to go for it on you. We'll see. Oh, there we go. Get in the end zone. If you want to if you want to play gaily like that and go off of sides, every time I'm going to go for it on fourth down. Or not fourth down, I'm going to go for it for the PAT. I'm going to go for two. Because you're going to put, you're putting me on the 1 yard line and I got to go 1 yard to get in the end zone. So I, I'm confident with myself getting in like 99% of the time. There is those couple times I fail, uh, but most of the time I'm able to get in the end zone. I'm just going to play man deep. I'll bring D'Amico down just to make sure he doesn't get any short underneath pass. I will be so pissed if I let him score here. Okay, nice job, Rodney. Just tackle him. <laughs> Don't even let him go up for the ball. Just, just straight up tackle him to the ground. Uh, okay, here we go. Bring Namiko down. But the reason I don't, uh, I don't put my guys all the way back, um, is because he could throw something underneath, and then oh, DRC with the pick. Oh, I could have gotten out of there. I might have been able to take that for six, but. It doesn't matter. DRC are here with two interceptions. One got taken away, but I'll I'll do the okay. Spam it. Spam it. Okay. Get an onside kick. I hate onside kicks because I I just don't know how to control the guys to try to pick it up. And sometimes your guys whiff and they're trash when they try to do this and they can't recover it. But Jennings Jennings like a champion gets it. Oh, oh, <laughs> Greg Jennings just. A Burst through that hole. Down to the 20. Look at Greg Jennings. Like a champion. Let's see here. Let's run a little. Let's run a little play action. Or not play action. Read a, I can't think of the word. Oh! Uh, <laughs> got stuck on my own guy. Oh, he's got Asante. I wonder which Asante that is. But... I got, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, I can't think of it right now, read option, there we go, I run some read option, oh, I might as well just throw it, he's backed off coverage like ridiculous here, oh that was bad, oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't think he was going to back out, back off with Jared Allen, so I just threw that up, uh, not thinking, I'm okay if I take a field goal here because that puts me up 11, uh, it's going to take him a lot to get back in this game. So I'm okay with that. Let's see, Let's see who he drops back into coverage. Nobody. Kick that out to Darren Sproles, and Sproles is in the end zone. Or oh, it's Shane Vereen, because it's third down. I have Vereen as my third down running back, so my receivers. Because usually, most of the time, you're gonna have to throw on third down. Sometimes you have those sh third and shorts, and you're you're able to. Okay, bro. I will accept that penalty, and I'm gonna go for two. Because if you want, every time he does that on the extra point, I'm going to go for two. And it looks, he doesn't have anybody near the line, so, should be an, oh, oh, I got stuck on my own guy when Vic hopped over. Oh, that, that was sort of my fault and sort of not, because you can't really control how he hops, so, but I don't care himself, two touchdowns. Come on, laptop, get that crap off of there. Okay. Minute 14 to go in third. Can I keep him from coming back? Should be able to. If I blow this lead, I'm, I'm worse than the Atlanta Falcons. Blowing a 17-point lead. 
Letting the 49ers beat them, and then the week earlier, blow, almost blowing a 20-point lead. I don't know why I picked this play. All blitz. I saw a wildcat in my, mate, my brain, I don't know, made a weird association to just... Because he's not going to throw with Darren's rolls. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh, he's going to follow. Get out of here. That's not going to work on me. Cromartie, two tackles. Oh, no, Cromartie's playing pretty good. I uh, don't think he has one reception against him. I don't know. This is more for you guys to see how Cromartie plays more than me, because he's going to stay on my team whether he sucked massive wiener or if he was good. Why is Sproles on defense? Oh, Cromartie! Come on! Come on, man. That was your interception opportunity, and I don't know why Darren Sproles is on defense. There is that glitch, but why is it just Darren Sproles? Usually Michael Vick is on defense and crap like that. I don't know why. Julio... Julio's playing man. Oh my god. That's that's just awful. Oh, Julio Jones with the interception. Julio almost just about putting this game away. Oh, he's going to quit. He's going to quit. He's going to quit. Oh, he quit. Okay, well, uh sorry you guys didn't get to see the whole gameplay since he decided to quit. Uh, but that's usually what people do. They rage quit when they get down a lot. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop it a like. Uh, tell me how stupid I am for buying uh, Crow Marty because I know all of you, I know a bunch of you already will. But he, I really wanted him on my team. Hold on, I'll check that AP price. I don't know why I clicked on my players. I'll check that AP price real quick and let you guys know how much he is. Because he's probably the next card I'm going to add back to my team. I just sell and rebuy players all the time, so... You'll see mostly all those players I just sold off reemerge on my team. Ooh, 170. So that's not bad. I sold mine for 300,000, so <laughs> I made 150,000 off of it if I buy it back. So not too upset about that. And he is now 400,000 for his non-collected version. I think you can make money off of that collection now. I'm not sure. The other card I want is the Anquan Bowl. Let me look that up real quick, and then I'll wrap this video up. Wide receiver for the Ravens. There's Bolden. Bolden is forty thousand. Not bad. Not not too shabby. I'll probably pick him up. I need a bigger. I need a uh, more of a threat at receiver than what I got. Cromarty kind of helps out the cornerback position. Need a little bit more of a threat at wide receiver since the highest overall is 93. And the only reason he's here, it would be Macklin is the highest, but the only reason he's here is because he gives plus one to speed. Uh, quarterback's fine. I do have Gronk sitting on my auction house, so if he does solve 24,000, or I might just keep him. My line's a little bit weak now, but Upshaw, one-star Upshaws are pretty cheap, so uh, yeah, I think you can get four of them for about 90,000 at tops. <laughs> So that's not bad. Uh, linebacking core is a little weak now. My line, my D line is pretty good, but my linebacking core is a little weak uh, since I sold off James Harrison and Terrell Suggs. But I'll get that back to where it was soon enough. Cromarty makes my cornerbacks a little bit more lethal. Uh, my second, I love my secondary. Uh, the only thing that could make it better is if I got uh, the Namdi, the flashback Namdi, and maybe the flashback Champ. Uh, but other than that, I, I I like my secondary. I don't want I didn't I don't really want any of the legends. I guess Ghost Dion or Ghost Champ, but I don't really care about those. And I my my secondary is where my my pride and joys are with Rodney Harrison and Antonio Cromartie. Got about six hundred thousand coins in the pair of them. Actually, seven hundred because I bought Rodney for three ninety. And then with Michael Vick, eight nine hundred thousand of my coins are in three players. And they're my three favorite players. Well, not my three favorite players, but Rodney Harrison's up in, like, my top ten, so. Uh, I'm going to change Gillette Stadium. I'll go, we're going to play at Georgia Dome. And I'm going to wear the, the Ravens jerseys. Because I want the Ravens to win the Super Bowl. And I'm not using the Ravens Stadium. I just want to play at Cowboy Stadium. Change my mind. Okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop it a like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.